I'm here from UA High. Oh yeah, today is the day the internship begins with this Yoda-like figure who likes sausages. Holy woe, he's dead! Holy woe. I'm alive. Ah, he's alive! So weird. <sighs> oh yeah, we got a new opening too. Hell yeah. Looking pretty cool. Oh, I think I know this song actually. I think I've heard this before somewhere. <laughs> Such a nice image. All Might and Deku clasping hands. It's amazing how far Deku's already come just by like midway through season two. Yeah, Ida's gonna have a lot of development this arc, isn't he? Oh no, a daddy phone call. <laughs> I'm waiting for the reappearance. I'm guessing it'll be pretty soon. Nice. I like this opening a lot better than the last one, I think. I was carrying a nice big plate of sausages covered in ketchup when I accidentally tripped and fell down. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> who among us has not dropped a plate full of ketchup sausages? Yeah, who knows? I'm Izuku Midoriya. So what's your name, boy? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. This is the Yoda. Yodaness. I didn't expect him to be bonkers. Bonkers like a fox. <laughs> This is exactly Yoda. Why don't you fire off a one for all smash at me. I want to know how far you've come in terms of handling its power. They've set the stage for this character so well because the fact that All Might is terrified of him immediately confers a certain level of respect, right? But then to get there and he's sort of all over the place. But I think people who are truly capable, right? People who are truly powerful, they don't necessarily need to flaunt their abilities. So there's basically no doubt that this guy is amazing, which suggests that there's something strategic about the way he carries himself and that he's so confident in his own capabilities that he doesn't need to care about his image at all. This is a pretty good costume. He's the first one to say that. I'm also here because I don't know if All Might has much time left. I'm sorry. But I can't waste my whole week messing around like this, sir. I hope you'll excuse me. As I thought. <laughs> it was a test. It was all a test. Not bad. It's Not bad at all. To show me what you can do, you newbie. <laughs> Had to throw a newbie there. Okay. Bizarre. Gran Torino appears. The way you used your power was unthinkable. Reckless. I love it. <laughs> but All Might's a total novice when it comes to teaching. I can only imagine what a blunder he is in the classroom. Yeah, can you believe that they've only had one beach training montage so far? As we made repairs to your costume, our designers decided to make a few changes in regards to materials and appearance. Oh, thank God. I mean, oh, okay. I guess I shouldn't be surprised after seeing Hatsume at work. If May's behind it, you should be all right. All right, let's get it does started. look cooler. Show me your smash. Uh, you're sure this is a good idea? <laughs> in your house? I'm kind of worried since yeah. I've never used this suit before. Oh, are those like protective gloves? That's actually a great idea. Well, there goes all concern for his house, I guess. All Might's hardly taught you anything. Guess all that fame doesn't translate into being a good mentor. All Might's a little bit busy, to be fair. He's doing a lot at once, at great cost. Clever analysis, newbie. Nice try, but you're a little stiff. The power is no good if you can't even hit him. You understand its fundamentals, but your admiration for All Might and sense of loyalty to him are shackles on you. Ooh, interesting. That's a great insight. Real villains don't care if you've reached your full potential yet, and you think One for All is more special than it really is. Wow, interesting. Meanwhile, I'll go buy us some grub. Clean this place up while I'm gone. <laughs> In classic teacher-student relationship form, you can sort of tell that Gran Torino is going to get a lot out of this as well. He's obviously already enjoying himself a lot. About All Might being a shackle, that's a really fascinating idea. It does seem like Deku is doing this in a very All Might way, but we also happen to know that the All Might way is not totally complete. Like, All Might is a danger to himself, and it's not a sustainable system he's built. And I feel like there's something to that, you know, like, no matter how wise someone is or a way of thinking is, there will always be some kind of creative incorporation that happens that's particular to the individual. It can't just be blind belief, right? has to be internalization to the point where it's actually connected to the individual, I think. If you're Deku, the point is not necessarily to be like All Might, but to be heroic. And All Might is a good place to start to aim at, but it's possible he goes beyond that, plus Ultra. And it's something we just saw sort of in the tournament, where Deku was trying to please All Might externally, but actually he was doing so much more than that with the whole Todoroki fight. And what Gran Torino said about One for All not being everything there is plays into that as well, I think. Man, I kind of can't believe Ingenium's little brother is interning at my agency. 
I'm sure you had offers from pros with much bigger followings than mine. Oh no, that's not good as a mentor <laughs> to be doubting yourself like this with your student. And Ida's not even listening. He's just looking for dark alleys to run down. The hero yep. killer. I have to try to track the villain down. Right. Doing all the things that no one wants him to. But unless he's prepared, he's gonna make it you worse. Be the ones who attack oh, it's the villain bar. Perhaps we made a mistake. Master, should I step in? Let it happen. It's possible this is the only way he'll learn anything. He needs to think about the ways he must grow. How he can mature. Interesting that Shigaraki's having an internship of his own. Via Zoom. Now I see. Quirks are just extensions of our bodies. So then, I need to start thinking of one for all as being part of me. That's it. That's good insight. You found a good one, huh, Toshinori? Respect grows. Or should I say, all might. Of course he won't show that directly, at least yet. To be perfectly frank, I don't like you very much. Is this best genius? Wow, finally. I know full well why you chose my agency. I like how he has a belt on his face. I'd say you're already good enough to take on as a sidekick. However, you do have a fatal flaw. You believe you're the best, and you display that belief without regard for how it reflects on you or your image. It's funny, this actually ends up being perfect for Bakugo just because the thing he needs most is image training. Like, I've been sort of joking about how the image thing is kind of like a superfluous part of the heroism thing. But no, actually, if anyone could, could benefit from it, it's Bakugo. Don't tell me you brought me here just to give me a lecture! Ugh. I have to correct people like you. Oh, this is his power? It's part of my duty to society. Heroes Interesting. And villains are cut from the same cloth. Cloth, get it? What in the hell are you doing? Best genius. The internship I didn't know I needed. I'm educating you on becoming an exemplary pro. That includes being aware of the way you speak, your appearance, controlling your emotions, your morals. I like how morals was last in there, but okay. I will stitch these things into the fabric of your being. <laughs> Love these, these cloth puns. Hey man, what are you doing here? <laughs> Best internship ever. So this week, you'll learn from my experience. That's the chivalrous hero. He's so manly. Wait for me to finish speaking! Yes, sir! Apologies! You gotta learn how to be chivalrous. Everyone learns something that day. When a crime occurs, the police will contact us. These requests come in all at once, filtered by district. Uraka is preparing to kill. You'll catch on quick, kiddo. I didn't expect him to be so friendly. Don't let that fool you. Do you know why I chose to recruit you too? Any thoughts? Well, I guess it must be because you saw such heroic potential in us. Uh oh. Of course uh -oh. I did. But there's another reason. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. You're both very cute young ladies. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh man, this is so much harder than class. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Shoto. You're finally ready to walk down the path of the mighty. He actually what? Wow. Interesting choice. This internship. It's time I show you what it means to be a hero. Respect to Todoroki, I guess, for confronting it head-on, though? And all he did was test me once. No actual hero work or field training. He just passed out after coming back with food. He also dropped a whole bunch of knowledge that'll, you know, take me a while to sift through. One, two, three, the roof. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Imagine the egg not exploding in the microwave. Ugh! And that was the end of Deku's toes. Very nice. So Spider-Man. Deku's intern internshipping himself. It's not our problem, honey. <laughs> this is very All Might-like, though. Having self-expectations that are so high, it risks like damaging what he's working on. Good morning. Time for training to What's begin. You After you're beat. freshly rested, uh, yeah. I was training on my own yesterday. And yeah, yeah. Far. He was pretty much able to use one for all right off the bat, so I taught him in a very different manner. Of course, he had the body going for him, so there's that. Oh, so we always had that, huh? <laughs> you just puke gold? So you haven't told him about the seventh holder yet, eh, hey, Toshinori? Oh, I guess there's a story there. What happened to the seventh holder? The microwave? Yeah, for some reason mine broke yesterday. Uh, yeah, for some reason. In order to draw out more than 5% of my power, I'll need to put in the kind of commitment I did on the beach. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go back to the beach. Call All Might. See what he's doing. <laughs> Still frozen. Uh, no way. I'm positive that I microwaved them like it said to. What are you, an idiot? Is this going to be an analogy for powers? Have you never done this before? Oh, ours isn't the turning type, so no, I guess not. I'm sorry that... 
Oh, 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 here we go. Lots of microwave analogies, but not an egg this time. I see now. The first place <laughs> in my hand is me. Of course, it was always so simple. I shouldn't be flipping the switch off. I just have to leave the power on the whole time. Imagining the energy that used to be focused in one place spreading throughout my entire body. I feel like Deku's sort of like teaching himself in this internship. Was that why he bought the microwave? <laughs> That's giving him a lot of credit. Looking pretty can. awesome there. Let's do this. Wow, that was fast. But new ending song. I miss Dudu too. Why? What is this fantasy setting thing happening here? Very creative, these endings. Not exactly sure what it means though. <laughs> I feel like I know this singer, but I can't can't remember. I like how the, the text is like it's video game text as well. Okay. You got big shoes to fill after Dudu too, but it's good. I like it. So the internships begin and it turns out that Deku's true master is himself. <laughs> He's just on like a path now. He's a really great student, I think, for the same reasons he's a really great hero. It's that he's connected to the right things. Like he actually really cares about what he's doing. He's willing to sacrifice. He's willing to think creatively. He's willing to put aside what he knows, you know? And I have a feeling it's gonna get a lot more difficult. Not only because of the training, not only because this is just the beginning and Gran Torino sort of testing him, but also because the villains are definitely about to emerge, right? Honestly, I hope they push this arc as long as they can because there's something so great about these kids like learning from these experts and also seeing the different personalities of the mentors, like best genius, Probably has a lot more to offer than initially met, met the eye, met my eye. Seeing Mineta struggle a little bit was fun. Todoroki's past should be really interesting. I'm amazed that he took that internship, but I guess it fits with that overall thing he's been doing of like confronting his problems head on and learning who he really is and what he wants to be. So that's definitely something important to watch as well in our latest episode of Keeping Up With The Todorokis. So that's the end of episode 14. I'll see you guys next time when I have a feeling the villains may attack after they conclude their, their villain zoom call. <laughs>